Hello, my sewing friends. Let's hang some curtains. Woohoo! I'm Jen, and this is my sewing room. And a lot of you have asked me from time to time how I did this. And let me start by saying I am a one trick pony. No kidding. It is this everywhere in my house and even on my lanai. Um, even though I have a design degree, an interior design degree, I just hate window treatments. I hate dealing with them. Well, it's so easy to do. It really truly is. It is the most basic window treatment and you can do it. So let me show you how. So let's talk about what you're gonna need to be able to accomplish this. And seriously, so simple. First of all, you need your curtain rod. Um, it really doesn't matter uh, how fat, how what the diameter of your curtain rod is, but I would not advise going very big because you need to accommodate this. And this is a little ring that will go around the top of your curtain rod and it'll be able to slide freely. And then the clip is what you clip your uh, fabric to. So you need those two things. You need your curtain rod, your rings, and then you need fabric. What I used was muslin. I liked it because it's perfect for my house. You can use any fabric that you like. You can use a curtain, a, you know, like a ready-made balance, any, thing you want. <laughs> you really can. So here's how I did this. I ordered a bunch of this and I can't remember how many yards, but it was like a bolt or even a couple of bolts. I don't know. Can't remember because it's been too long ago. But what I did was since it is 45 inches wide, I laid it out and I cut it along the fold line. So this is 22 inches and uh, that was fine. It was a good length for what I wanted. And um, you can, if you like, you can finish the top edge or the side edge or both. Um, I didn't wash my muslin before I hung them up. And because this is 100% cotton, it's going to wrinkle. But when I did wash it, um, the top of it frayed. And so, you know, I think what I did when I started was to serge the edge, which you can do that, but you know, looking back, I don't know, I guess maybe it's a good idea, but I didn't do it on the other one. And I liked that rough look, that fray look. I didn't finish the edges of this one either, but on this one, I just ran a line of stitching under where it's starting to fray so that it won't fray beyond that point. So those are your basic things. It's so simple, that's all you need. So here's how I did this. First of all, you hang your rings on your curtain rod. Well, you gotta mount your curtain rod and then you hang your rings on it. You have to decide how many rings you want. First thing you need to remember is that you want an odd number because you want to work from the center of your rod and then you want to work out from there. So you may want to go even, like I have 13 rings. So I have the center one and then I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 10, 12. And then the center one makes 13. Well, it ended up that I needed to go 15 inches between the folds, like between here and here. I, when I did the math, I did it wrong. And then I did it two or three times trying to hang them up. And it frustrated me because I can't remember how I did it the first time. So what I did was I took my ruler out and you can do this with a tape measure too. And I just knew it was 15 inches was going to work. So I would just go and I would go, okay, there's 15 inches and clip. There's 15 inches and clip. And you wanna leave 15 inches or however long your thing is on one end and then clip. So start from the end when you measure. And that way you'll have a, an end that hangs down like 
like that. See how that's laying down? Yeah. And when I did it, I folded it over kind of like a hem. I didn't stitch the hem, but I just folded it over about an inch and a half as I did it because I wanted a, a finished edge, like right along here. It looks like I hemmed it, but I didn't. And I didn't want a line of stitching showing. And that's all you do. You just then clip them up and there you go. See what I mean? <laughs> it is so easy. together then use more hooks if you want them further apart then use less hooks make sure your hooks will uh, move freely on the curtain rod because you want to be able to adjust them that's how you do it so simple if you have any more questions put them in the comments but I don't know that I can go beyond that's all I did <laughs> you may have you know, you may have a better way of doing this. And if you do, please let everyone know because, you know, when you comment and you have a great suggestion, then everybody learns. And I will leave you with my favorite scripture, which is do justice, love, mercy, and walk humbly with your God. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.